Hello, it's me again, Diligent Fingers, uh, back once again with another Jazz Jousters Lab Off, um, also representing Spinal Records, Noxious Entertainment, and Block to Block. Big shouts to Millennium Jazz each and every time, and, and every one of you Jazz Jousters. Uh, this time we're getting into a Bill Evans sample. Uh, once again, it's taken me a while to actually get into it. And I think um, Blue Buttons in the group, um, he put up a post about um, some tracks being a bit difficult to actually sample from and get a sample from, get an idea from, or at least getting the idea to stick, um, so to speak. Uh, so, yeah, man, we're in, um, I'm getting into it now. I've only just started it, so it's completely from scratch. Um, I'll just take you through the whole process, really. Um, so yeah. So yeah, um, is the uh, Bill Evans um, track that uh, I think it was Mr. Mood who put in um, this one for this week. So here is Bill Evans again, another beautiful track. Um, yeah, man, have a listen. Definitely one of them kind of tracks. It certainly suits the sunny day that um, we're having today in Manchester. So beautiful track, got into it, started chopping it up, um, don't mind the jump the screen jumping about back and forth, it's new OS Lion on the Mac, I'm still getting to grips with it because they've just changed everything and made it like the iPads and the iPhones and stuff, anyway I digress, I'm waffling again. Uh, put it into WaveLab, got all the chops that I wanted and stuff, um, I tend, when it comes to chopping up, I'll be a bit more in depth this time. When it comes to chopping up, I tend not to um, do any sort of processing or anything like that before I put the chops into whatever instrument I'm going to use in Logic, basically. I'll just leave them how they are. Um, so I can just catch as much of the original essence as I possibly can. If it ends up getting lost in the mix with those stuff that I add to it, then fair enough. But you know, I, I, it's just one of those things I, I tend not to like start processing straight away or start processing like afterwards. Some people may disagree with me, others may do the same thing. It's entirely up to you, just have fun with it, do do it the way that you feel um, you like to do it. So, but um, again, only took like 13 chops out of it. Um, Probably instantly from the beginning, I felt as if I knew what uh, what chops I was gonna take out and what I was gonna do with it and stuff. But yeah, all in wave lab. where I started getting excited, them two. But them three um, chops I've really started getting excited about. So put them into Logic. So now we've got them into Logic. 
Um, I've already um, put them into the EXS24 um, sampler. Um, I've got things like contacts and stuff like that, but I don't end up tending to use them because um, they're an external instrument rather than an internal one. Um, and just to save on like processing power and stuff like that really so I don't tend to um, to use contacts or anything like that once I get complete 8 I probably will do um, and stuff but yep yeah, got them in the EXS24 sampler um, and ended up just coming up with this straight away really soulful love it straight away onto a vibe there um, so now it's just time to like add other stuff really and get into adding all of that So, uh, obviously, it's looking a bit darker in here and stuff, so I've left it for a bit, come back to it, um, made a couple of changes, added some bits and bobs and stuff, um, I was going to get back into it, just added like little things like, just added them in there, um, changed the bass line, it's just little simple bits, changed up the beat as well, so the beat is a bit more, you know, a bit more yeah Mm. 
so I've just put um, a little bridge in here. Add the bass line. Bridge going in there, so I just need to add more to the bridge really and get that sounding as nice as the rest of it. Um, and then I'll probably just look to just like do another verse and the chorus again um, and just round it off like that. It doesn't really need that much, it's a nice, like, sort of full, sort of chilled out, sombre kind of beat as it is. So just start adding more to it now. It's diligent fingers once again. As you can probably hear in the background, maybe um, in a flat full of crazy pissed woman, women, um, <laughs> Mrs. is going out with uh, a few of her friends tonight and stuff. So not much has changed. Obviously, change of clothes. I've had to come back to it another day. I don't think I'm gonna have time to like really do any more to it. So, um, but yeah, man, like it's sounding pretty good so far. I'll, I'll let you hear what it's sounding like now. So yeah man, pretty simple, pretty simple beat really. Um, if I had more time or if I wasn't doing overtime at work and stuff like that or if I didn't have crazy drinking women in the yard. No offence to women or anything like that, you can be crazy, you can drink. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'll hopefully I'll be able to do more um, to it but we'll obviously get out. Um, anyway, hopefully I'll get it in, get it into gadget in time so you can put it with rest of the tracks and um, but big shout out to the jazz jousters once again and um, big shout out to everybody who's been getting involved big shout out to everybody who's been making really really great wonderful music and keep on doing it man um, and i'll see you at the next one hopefully with a more interesting and um, beat video uh, to go along with it because i'm starting to really get into um, final cut pro and stuff anyway waffling Peace out people, see you on the other side.